a novena of prayer to Our Lady of Sorrows. The Seventh Day The Sorrowful Hail Mary Hail Mary, full of sorrows, the Crucified is with thee. Thou art pitiable amongst women, and pitiable is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of the Crucified, implore for us, the Crucifiers of thy Son, tears of contrition now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In this novena, we contemplate the seven dolors, or sorrows, of Our Lady and ask through her prayers for a deeper devotion to the suffering of Jesus, our Redeemer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Seventh Sorrow Jesus is laid in the sepulchre. The Gospel according to St. John, chapter 19, verses 38 to 42. And after these things, Joseph of Arimathea, because he was a disciple of Jesus, but secretly for fear of the Jews, besought Pilate, that he might take away the body of Jesus. And Pilate gave leave. He came therefore and took the body of Jesus. And Nicodemus also came, he who at the first came to Jesus by night, bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about a hundred pound weight. They took therefore the body of Jesus and bound it in linen cloths with the spices, as the manner of the Jews is to bury. Now there was in the place where he was crucified a garden, and in the garden a new sepulchre, wherein no man yet had been laid. There, therefore, because of the parasceve of the Jews, they laid Jesus because the sepulchre was nigh at hand. The Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 23, verses 55 to 56. And the women that were come with him from Galilee, following after, saw the sepulchre and how his body was laid and returning they prepared spices and ointments, and on the Sabbath day they rested according to the commandment. A reading from the mystical city of God by the Venerable Mary of Agreda from chapter 24 of the Transfiction. Some time passed during which the sorrowful mother held at her breast the dead Jesus. And as evening was far advancing, Saint John and Joseph of Arimathea besought her to allow the burial of her son and God to proceed. The most prudent mother yielded, and they now embalmed the sacred body, using all the hundred pounds of the spices and the aromatic ointments brought by Nicodemus. Thus anointed, the deified body was placed on a bier in order to be carried to the sepulchre. The heavenly queen, most attentive in her zealous love, called from heaven many choirs of angels who, together with those of her guard, should accompany the burial of their creator. Immediately they descended from on high, in shapes visible to their queen and lady, though not to the rest. A procession of heavenly spirits was formed, and another of men, 
and the sacred body was borne along by St. John, Joseph, Nicodemus and the centurion who had confessed the Lord and now assisted at his burial. They were followed by the Blessed Mother, by Mary Magdalene and the rest of the women disciples. Besides these, a large number of the faithful assisted, for many had been moved by the divine light and had come to Calvary after the lance thrust. All of them, in silence and in tears, joined the procession. They proceeded toward a nearby garden where Joseph had hewn into the rock a new grave in which nobody had as yet been buried or deposited. In this most blessed sepulchre, they placed the sacred body of Jesus. Before they closed it up with a heavy stone, the devout and prudent mother adored Christ anew, causing the admiration of men and angels. They imitated her, all of them adoring the crucified Saviour now resting in his grave. Thereupon they closed the sepulchre with the stone which, according to the evangelist, was very heavy. At the command of the Queen, many angels remained to guard the sepulchre, where she had left her heart. In the same order and silence in which they had come, they now returned to Calvary. The heavenly mistress of all virtues approached the Holy Cross and worshipped it in deepest reverence. In this, Joseph and all the rest of the mourners followed her. It was already late, and the sun had sunk, when the great lady betook herself from Calvary to the house of the Senecal in the company of the faithful. Having brought her to the Senecal, St. John, the Marys and the others took leave of her with many tears and sighs and asked for her benediction. The most humble and prudent lady thanked them for their service to her divine son and the consolation afforded her. She permitted them to depart with many hidden and interior favours and with the blessing of her most amiable and kindest heart. On this seventh day of the Novena to Our Lady of Sorrows, we pray one Our Father and seven Hail Marys while meditating on the seventh sorrow. Jesus is laid in the sepulchre. I grieve for thee, O Mary most sorrowful, for the pangs that wrenched thy most loving heart at the burial of Jesus. Dear Mother, by thy heart sunk in the bitterness of desolation. Obtain for me the virtue of diligence and the gift of wisdom. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O sorrowful Mother, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.